I'm Johnny, owner of Blazer Grass Lawn Care here in Savannah, Georgia, and welcome to the 2019 enclosed lawn care trailer setup. <laughs> Today I'm going to walk you through my 2019 enclosed trailer setup and show you what we're going to be taking it with us on a daily basis. Now the only change that's going to probably come is that I'm going to get the new Xmark Staris uh, when they come out. But other than that, everything will be the same. Enjoy. Alright, so let's begin with the uh, truck. The truck is a 2006 Nissan Titan. It currently have 109,000 miles. I've never had an issue with it except for the uh, starter. I purchased a brand new starter and other than that this truck has been extremely uh, good to us. As of right now the only thing that needs to be done to it is I need to get a paint job which will be done eventually. No rush. So that is the uh, our main truck for this setup next is uh i have a 7x14 v nose double axle enclosed trailer and it's made by diamond cargo and this is the uh pretty good size for us guys um i used to have something smaller but this is uh just the exact size that we actually need on this trailer we carry a Xmark Vantage 48 with 617 hours on it and we also carry an Xmark Vantage 36 and it has 513 hours on it and two days out of the week we carry the Xmark Commercial 21 this is the uh, X series and on the vantages i have the jungle gems rack for my trimmers and again if you want to see more on the trimmer racks look in the top and i'll put a link to a video that i did on it and all my mowers have the x mark ocd system the operator control discharge which you bring up the lever here on the side bring up the lever and it opens and closes your chute and it helps us out a lot and i have them both on the 36 and the 48 it helps us out a lot when we're out there to ensure that we're not getting all that grass and debris inside the uh, plant beds the only difference in this year is that this one is going to be exchanged for the new Staris as soon as uh, they come in. I already have it on order, but um, I'm going to keep the 36 and I may get rid of the 21, but I'm not sure yet. I may hold on to it as a backup mower. All right, guys, so coming into the trailer, the first thing you'll see is my safety cones. I carry two safety cones. And let me take these off so I can show you. I like to keep as much as I can off the floor. I have a safety cone holder. Go online and you can order those. And again, safety is number one concern, guys. Safety, safety, safety. Next, we have two BR-800Cs. 
which we love. These uh, blowers are extremely, extremely uh, efficient, productive. Let me tell you, um, parking lots, homes, driveway, I mean, real quick, easy. Guys, let me tell you, these things are, are amazing. Then we have the Equipment Defender V2 blower racks, which uh, it is for us, guys. These things are extremely cheap and very, very, very sturdy, hardcore. I love these things. Pretty, pretty easy to take on, off, just slide it right off. And for any one of you guys that actually uh, <laughs> are thinking about purchasing purchasing these uh, these racks, guys, don't forget utilize your code Blades10. All right, it'll give you a 10% discount. <laughs> so next we have my Steel BG86, and why do I carry this BG86, guys? Is because sometimes you know how you forget to blow off that back patio simple grab it go in the back there also to blow off uh, inside of plant beds when you're doing cleanups this little sucker um awesome awesome really good when you need it next you'll find the echo shc 225 guys let me tell you i love this hedge trimmer this is my go-to hedge trimmers uh when it comes to trimming hedges and hedge trimmers i prefer echo for some reason uh, they're lighter and they give me the best cut quality just my opinion and I'm sure we all have our own opinion next we have this steel HL 90k which we uh, you know it's two of us in the truck so these things come in extremely uh, extremely handy very very good size and length for what we do all right, then we have the awesome, awesome, awesome little giant ladder. Guys, let me tell you, if you guys never seen a little giant ladder fall in different configurations, ways, whatever the case might be, this is the one, man. This is the one. Just, uh, you know, Google it. But this is the one, guys. This is an awesome ladder. It's very handy for uh, all kind of things that you want to do, okay? All right, next we have the Jungle Gym Jack. And again, for those who have never seen these guys, I'll put a look up on the top and I'll put a video on how you utilize this jack. I carry it with me, guys, because it come in extremely handy, especially um, when you got want to lift the mower up to clean under the deck. You don't have to been under and all that good stuff this jack guys it is a lifesaver easy easy convenient small uh, footprint next we carry a trailer aid guys let me tell you if you have an enclosed trailer or even if you have an open <laughs> trailer make sure you have one of these things guys the basic concept of this is you roll up one tire and the other one actually um uh, is off the ground and you can change your tire okay these things are extremely extremely handy and we also have our spare tire I don't know I know this one is bald just a little bit guys but my area operation is so small and tight and compact that all I needed to do is to take me back to where I'm supposed to be going and eventually I will get a brand new tire and put on there uh, the trailer pouch I've had a lot of questions the guys asking me about the trailer pouch google it guys um this i've had it for the past nine years yep nine years it's been with me from trailer to trailers because i keep upgrading trailers so again um in order not to make a a shelf or whatever the case might be i'd rather just have the trailer pouch um you just pick it up and take it with you if that's the case whatever the case is 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 extremely uh useful uh and in on the trail in the trailer pouch we have um ramps our commercial properties have a uh, the sidewalks are extremely high for some reason so we utilize the ramps so the mowers can get up on the ramp and we have a hardcore gloves for when we're pruning rose bushes jumper cables 
uh, this Rhino uh, heavy duty <laughs> string guys is garbage I don't know why I still have it in there um, <laughs> a towel an old towel for when you know you're checking your oil on a daily basis your tarp debris vegetation debris bags we get these from the Home Depot I think it's like three of them for I mean five of them for a dollar ninety five uh, be spray wash spray if you're doing shrubs you got to have those uh, our pruners we have a few pruners in here knee pads you know once you get to a certain age guys you got to have knee pads and a uh, little bit of this a little bit of that bungee cords a uh, couple of tools and things like that and up here you have the equipment to basically change your blades clean the deck your big loppers this right here guys is my non-selective herbicide we do plant bed maintenance for a couple of our customers so you know you walk around and and, and i'll tell you right now um you know you can just spray the grass whatever the case might be with it and you know you make a little bit and and put in there it comes in handy now in here we have our let me show you real quick and i need to change this out this is our pre-emergent guys <laughs> plant bed weed pre-emergent uh i take it with us because this is the time of year that we're doing our second application and on average we apply this twice a year to the customers that we're actually utilizing uh, have that service and for those who I want to know is a snapshot pre-emergent for uh, plant beds it works really 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 good so try that out all right guys this is a strum sprayer from green touch industry outstanding outstanding sprayer this is our go-to sprayer check them out really 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 good sprayer uh we also utilize fh 25e and this is from sprayer plus and again it's a battery powered and it holds uh, i want to say two gallons yeah two gallons so i use this and this for my selective uh herbicide and we have you know oil and the fuel mix which i use the uh, red armor pretty good uh fuel mix for us from echo and my regular gas and my mix fuel it is painted orange because i have small orange equipment if you need to know why I paint mine's orange uh, check out the video on the top and it'll tell you why I did it all right coming over this side we have we carry with us two rakes got these from the, uh, the Home Depot lifetime warranty I've had it for a whole season and I've had no issues with it oh let me show you real quick guys see this uh, we installed a solar panel and a solar exhaust on the top so you know we're in the south guys so it gets hot inside here and basically it'll just run on its own and it keeps the uh, trailer pretty cool all right now this rack right here guys is made by power tray and this company went out of business um really really good equipment this was before um a lot of people got on the internet on on youtube but um there was a pretty good company and they just went out of business but i managed to hold on to a couple of their racks so yes if you google them guys you can't find them so sorry about that now our edger which is a uh, curved shaft is made by steel if it's uh, fs90 i've had this one for the past three years and i'm going to keep it for this year i usually only keep my equipment guys my 
handheld equipment for three years, but this one has been working pretty good for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it for another season and see uh, see how it do. But um, I love this edger. All right, and up here, I keep my spare edger blades and my string trimmer, my trimmer uh, insert. All right, string trimmers we prefer again that's us the steel fs 94 r's enough power for what we do and it works extremely well for us now if we have some other type of uh job that we need to do where we need a lot more power then we have other equipment in our storage but this is what we carry with us again we only do weekly and bi-weekly customers and we don't do one-time services, so this works extremely well for us. Uh, as you can tell, we carry our spool holder right here, and this one is missing. Um, I've got to buy, buy one to put up here. But um, these are extremely handy, guys, and they don't, they're not in the way for these types of trimmers. Now, we have a Echo. Power Extreme HCA 2620. Man, like I said before, I love the Echo Hedge trimmers, man. And this one is my go-to trimmer. Love it, love it. Nice power, outstanding results. Gives, gives me that crisp cut that you can ask for. A point zero eight zero, which I personally prefer to use and then we have the .095, which Quest prefers to use. So again, you know, and then we have the little cutter right here. And it's just a preference, guys. You know, um, this string to me is the best, again, for my type of turf. Other guys, you know, I've tried all kinds of strings and all, all that good stuff, but this is what I keep coming back to. As you can tell on my spool here, I have my 0 .080 because that's what I like. And this is Quest <laughs> trimmer and he's got his uh, 0 .095. The rack is a Green Touch industry rack. And guys, I've had this rack for five, six, yeah, probably about six years now. Extremely, extremely durable rack, man. I'm telling you, this thing is, is awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome rack. So yeah, guys, this is my 2019 enclosed trailer setup. And this is what we're gonna be taking with us on the 2019 season. Next, I will film the uh, my open trailer for 2019. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Other than that, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Have a great one, pop smoke. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.